Hey everybody, it's Mike, Rocky Ridge Pigeons. I got the old birds out here uh, cruising around. They've, uh, they've got their first race uh, Sunday, which means we're gonna basket them tomorrow night. You know, I never really trained them or anything, so we'll see how it goes. The first race is kind of a sprint race for me. It's only 60 miles, so um, I think they'll be just fine. Uh, there's one of them that's not gonna gonna go to the race. He just came out of the nest about three days ago, so he's gonna need a little time. But I have some other uh, birds to show. Uh, I got myself some uh, Pakistani high flyers. I've been wanting to do that for a few years, and um, I got some breeding pairs, and I wanna I wanna fly the young ones, see how they do around here. So anyway, these guys have been flying for about 20 minutes, and uh, pretty soon they'll come down. But I'll show the Pakistanis over here. I got all these pairs of uh, Pakistani high flyers, really great quality. Um, I found a breeder that was in it for a long time and pretty pretty good deal on a bunch of pairs, uh, five pairs. So I noticed that they were paired up, see how they're paired up pretty well. And um, so I put some temporary nesting um, just to continue with, uh, with that. I got six nests there, so that ought to get them going. And then I'll build something nice for them uh, in the near future. Actually, it's not five pair um, because I had two Pakistani high flyers, but they were both hens. So it's really only four pair. So I got plenty of nests here. I just put mine in here uh, because get them out of the stock loft and let them be with their own kind over here. But yeah, they're really beautiful. They got the white eyes. I think some people call these teddy pigeons. I'm not sure, but. That's definitely a mated pair right there. Absolutely. So, should have plenty of young birds from these to fly this year. And um, see how that goes. We'll see how these uh, birds do racing. The thing with these guys also, um, there's uh, probably about four of them that have never raced. They've only flown here, and actually I never trained them or anything, um, but they're just really good flyers, so uh, we'll see what happens. A lot of people that use that Benzing M1, um, in case you ever run into this situation, I did not have the the last race that I raced. I lost so many birds. I didn't I didn't bother traveling up to the club and having them uh, read the results and and uh, taking the race off of my clock. But the thing that was interesting is I was able to add all these birds onto the clock, even though the clock wasn't cleared. They scanned in all their bands. And I'm actually running a training right now, so when all these birds come down, they're all going to scan in, uh, just like they did yesterday. So uh, we shouldn't have to do anything special other than erase that last race off of my clock. Might as well show the uh, all the young birds now. Got quite a few. Uh, my young bird team in here. It's filling up uh, quite nicely. I've got about, uh, I think there's about 65, 70 birds in here now. I'm gonna end up with about 80 after I send some out to uh, one loft races and stuff. So they're getting really strong. So I'm starting to get nervous because I, I, sh I need to, uh, to release these birds before they get too strong. Otherwise, I'll, I'll end up losing some. Oh, 
but it's going good with the new loft. Everything's working out really well. Uh, I take off, I take off the, uh, the drop trap. It's removable. I hang it over there, and then, like uh, before, I call them in to eat. I'll put the drop trap right in front of there, so they'll have to trap through it when they come in. And they're all they're all pretty much used to doing that, so I, I don't think they I don't think they need any more. Uh, trap trap training whatsoever. Um, got a lot of really really young ones. I put six babies in here yesterday. Like that, that one right there, close to the wall, that red bar. That's a young one. That one's a young one. They're ready. They're definitely ready. These guys look hungry today. They're all excited. So let's see if I can get them some food. I see the young ones down there, they don't quite know what to do yet, but they'll figure it out real soon. These are all, all from my best birds, so I think things are going to go really well this year, hopefully. But I have fun anyway. Check out the old bird team out there. Let's see. Yeah, 25 minutes now. So they're pretty strong birds. I don't think the lack of road training should should really uh, be an issue. If you watch a lot of my videos, you see these guys flying. They flew all winter, so. You know, some were taken out to breed and and uh, put back and then they had to get back in shape and all that kind of stuff. But I think for the most part, it's going pretty good. That hofkin that came out of the nest uh, three days ago, I released it about a mile away all by itself yesterday. And um, it didn't even come home until now. It came home, you know, I saw these guys flying apparently and, uh, and now it's back home, so. You'll notice once in a while you see a bird lagging behind and that that would be him because everybody else is in perfect shape I got one baby on the inside Maybe I can find a nest with uh, with babies that are about that size and uh, Add it to it for the night well, That's the Huffkin right there Hasn't had anything to eat, for, to eat uh, or drink for a couple days, so here's all the birds coming in. <laughs> you can hear them all scanning in, so I think we're going to be good to go. Two minutes. Now I get them some food. First, I have to do one thing: scare these birds over here. These guys are always searching for a nest. I have to scare them a couple times before they go and trap. black one tied for first place on a 350 mile uh, 
combine race. It's a, it's a good bird. It's a nice black eagle. And the other one's a good bird too. Thanks for watching everybody. Like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.